we here at Pepsi are not in the end user reporting business anymore and we want to bring that function down to the user area because they know their data more than we do. Uh, what we like also is the fact that progress and fast track gives us that capability. If you look at the end user environment, when we developed an application such as Proteus, we don't attempt to provide all the reports they require. That's where fast track comes into its own and that's where our end users use it and find it a very valuable tool indeed. In a day they were able to be up to speed using fast track and writing their own reports and queries through uh, developing their own windows and their own pop-up menus. Another key element of the progress development environment is Progress Fast Track, the menu-driven application builder. Let's see just how easy it is. This is the Fast Track screen painter, where you can create screens and query by forms. Using the Fast Track screen painter, we have designed the layout of our query by form for the customer file. This is the result of the screen painter form with the database information in it. We have the form, we have the information, let's do a query. This is the query form. We're going to select all cities beginning with the letter B. We can either type the field name directly or ask Fast Track for the list of available fields. Let's select the field for the customer file. All that's left is to type B for all cities that begin with B Press F1, and we're off. Now, our view only contains all the customers whose cities begin with B. Let's say that Lift Line Skiing in Boston was the company and the city we are looking for. Now that we found it, we can join it with Lift Line's orders and the related order line records. Since this is the same database that's in the test drive, you can try this out yourself or try your own. Regardless, the application possibilities are limitless. Now to the Fast Track Report Writer. This is where we design our reports. We're putting the final touches on this report right now. To add fields, we'll position our cursor. Now select the fields to be inserted. From the order file, we'll select order date, the promised delivery date, and the sales rep and these fields are added at the cursor position. As a check, we'll view the report on screen. This is the report we just designed with the actual output. It looks good, but it really needs page numbers. With just a few keystrokes, we're ready to go. Now, that's just what we wanted. The productivity tools that both you and your users need are already in progress. HLC, or the Host Language Call Interface of Progress, is going to be very important for us going into the future. It creates a window to other devices and other areas that gives a lot more flexibility to the Progress environment. One example of how we might use that in the future is uh, combining our applications with CD-ROM. We'd like to be able to interact with video images and have access to video data. With the Progress Host Language Call Interface, your application can call in C routines for specialized computations and to access external devices, such as a video disc player. Progress can search and retrieve values representing specific video frames, giving you the ability to write interactive video applications. The open doors your application needs to access special devices are already in progress. Progress's Relational Database Manager is the high-performance back-end to the Progress Application Development System. Our current application consistently failed uh, with both hardware and software, putting us in a position of not knowing where our transaction data was. Uh, when we went to look for a new database management system, one of our base requirements was a system must have automatic crash recovery capability. It must be able to recover from any kind of a failure, whether that be from a hardware failure or a power failure, without having the users to intervene in the normal operation of the system. Well, we have one particular user who is in a parcel business, and if their system hiccups, they have a serious problem as to where their parcels have got to. They must be able to recover, recover completely. Progress does that in a way which is quite outstanding. Progress is a transaction-oriented database. A transaction is a unit of work that either has to be done completely or not done at all. With progress, you can easily define how much or how little work is to be undone if the transaction does not complete successfully. If the transaction is abnormally terminated, 
progress will automatically roll back to the beginning of the transaction. This is how it works. We've defined our transaction to include all of the updates of the item file. Enter item number 12. Let's change the description rugby shirt to ski pants and change squash glove to tennis racket. Number 12 is now ski pants and number 13 is now tennis racket. Let's cut the power. This is where our competition stops and progress continues. As we begin our new progress session, progress notifies us that our last session was abnormally terminated and incomplete transactions were automatically backed out. Let's see if it worked. Looking for item number 12, it's been restored to rugby shirt and item 13 has been restored back to squash glove. The insurance you and your users need to protect your database is already in progress. And with progress applications, you never have to commit yourself to only one hardware environment. One of the most important elements of progress is its portability and connectivity. The ability to port progress across different operating systems has been absolutely crucial to our company because of the hardware environment in which we operate. We move Unix systems, we're involved with BTOS and CTOS systems, which are the Unisys and conversion products, and of course with PC-DOS. We have to be able to run our application Proteus across those three ranges. We developed initially under Unix, and our first port was across onto BTOS, which we accomplished overnight, and it was completely successful. So successful, in fact, that we won a major competitive deal uh, under that particular implementation. We need the ability to develop on the VAX 8600 and send the applications internationally on a number of other platforms. Progress applications are transparently portable. One example of how this transportability really came in uh, handy for us was we had a client that we had spent three years developing a large financial application and invested about $300,000 in, in programming. And when we started off, of course, they said they needed a fairly small machine with maybe uh, 16 users on it. By the time we were done, they really wanted to run 40 or 50 users and they had to move to a different hardware platform. But with Progress, we had a choice of 160 different platforms we could go to. And we were able to select a platform that met their requirements very well and transport the code without any additional coding on our part. It was true transparent portability and it cost the user almost nothing in addition to do that. To say the least, our user was quite pleased.